Y'all, this room is super small. I thought it was gonna be like public hotel small. No, this is small, small. Like this is scary. This is the door, this is the wall. It's like, I could, this is as much as I could do in here. Wow. This trip was, oh my God, that view is beautiful. This trip was actually planned way before Fashion Week, but I'm lost for words right now. I'm really lost for words. But I don't really have time for this. I need to get dressed because I have a event that I'm going to go to at 5 o'clock. And it's a fashion file and black girls in color. They're doing an um, event today. And yeah, I need to get dressed for that. I feel like I'm all over the place. So I'm going to talk to you guys when I actually look like something and I have time to talk. Because right now it is 2.37. I'm so hungry and... I also have dinner tonight at 9.30, but I just feel like I just want to sit down for a second, but I know I can't. So I'm going to just talk to you guys when I have energy and a little more rah-rah. Y'all, the room's so small, I can't even open my suitcase. Oh my God, this is wild. Y'all, look at this. I cannot open the suitcase in here, girl. So it is hours later. It is 4.32. I am just finished getting dressed. I don't love my outfit. It is um, black girls in color. If you've seen them on Instagram, you know they love like doing the very vibrant colors. So I don't know if y'all could be able to see me, but I have on this neon yellow trench coat and I wanted to pare it down. So I put a black turtleneck. Underneath I have on a pair of black leather shorts with my, oh my God. I don't know if y'all can see, I have on these black leather thigh high boots. Um, I'm going to do this bag just to kind of like, you know, man, I don't know if you can see. This is a mess, girl. I feel like I'm in a college dorm and I did the glasses. So it's kind of like loud, but the black is kind of like taking it down. So, yeah, today so far, y'all, it's been a day. Um, I look forward to just coming back and decompressing um i have a dinner at 9 30. also y'all want to stop lying on tiktok i found this hotel on tiktok child look at this it's not much of anything tiktok be lying okay and that's why i don't mess with y'all but all right y'all let me go so i don't be late because this is a very quick event so i don't want to be late i want to be there and also try to get a picture of this outfit it's so funny because when I was at home, I actually liked it, but some reason I don't like it now, but whatever. Are you ready?
Trippin' off the shit you say I ain't changing how I live today I'm only focused on chips today Step on the gas and I win the race I can see you in a different space Think it's better you just hit the brakes Pull up the brakes and I Drift away Think we moving at a different pace I ain't trippin' off the shit you say I ain't changing how I live today I'm only focused on chips today Step on the gas and I win the race I can see you in a different space Think it's better you just hit the brakes Swervin' Throw it down, Julia servin' Moving like I got a purpose, making these beats and these verses. Okay, y'all, so I'm leaving the fashion file event. I'm about to go have drinks with Armand, and then we're gonna go to dinner with Tashara, Politics and Fashions, and she, and I don't know who else is gonna be there. And that's Armand. <laughs> when I'm at home, I be tired. Girl, by this time, it's 7.20, I'm in the bed with my wig on the couch. Now, I met a girlfriend. Okay, hi. All right, so we have an update. We was going to dinner at this one restaurant, but Zara, the girlfriend, decided to give us a ride. So we're gonna take her ride to wherever Armand wanna go because I still have dinner at 9.30. We're not right across the street. <laughs> yes, wave, darling. I'm leaving the fashion file event and she missed it and she was a little discouraged yes can y'all believe she said her highlight of the night was meeting little og girl you got a nice car room room <laughs> i said i'll get the content for both of us she said, i can't believe jesus in my car and i'm not vlogging i'm vlogging i'll vlog for the both of us not me having a alone going on i couldn't drive in new york i could barely drive in new orleans Baby, your car is performing, okay? Y'all, New York at night is so romantic. It just makes me, like in the daytime, I'm okay being single. Like, I don't care about being single in the daytime, but at nighttime, I'm like, oh, hold my hand. You wanna have like a little partner. Yeah, that's why I said at nighttime, it, I don't wanna be single. too sometimes, cause you see like the- Well, it depends. In the daytime, I be girl, living my best life. Fabulous, I don't be caring about nothing. Okay guys, so, Zara dropped us off on such and such street that I don't know. West 27th Street. Such and such. Yeah, am I crossing? Girl, not me. You didn't even tell me to turn. You gotta look at the light. Babe, I gotta talk to my vlog. Okay, so okay. we on West 77. Oh. Not 77. So what is this? Oh, 27. Same thing. 77, 27. It's all the same. Right, stop. Ice cream bar. Wait, y'all gotta see this. Y'all, it's an ice cream bar, but wait, look at it. It's literally a bar. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. Queen Bee. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. That's me. Seas. Uh -huh. Coming backstage, dying to get pleased. You got me, I ride these Versace and linen. Why you spotting and grinning with a bunch of foxy women? Why you speed on with cars? That's the valley. I get close, custom made from a stylist. Cruise in my Lexus land with no malice. Why you walk the street until your feet get callous? Take you on a natural high like a pallet. It be all good, so she close like a salad. When it's all over, put your vote in my ballot. This my diner, I'm Mel and you're Alice. Spend the night and look to see's palace. It be all good as long as you don't act childish. While you standing there with the crisp in your cup, the worst come the worst. Keep this on the hush. Uh. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. Got a different girl every day of the week. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. Got a different girl every day of the week. He's a slut, he's a hoe, he's a freak. Got a different girl every day of the week. It's cool, not trying to put a rush on you. I have to let you know that I got a 
Kanye. Yo, short, won't you go get a bag of the lethal? I'll be undressed in the bra all see through. Why you count your jewels thinking I'ma cheat you? The only one thing I wanna do is freak you. Keep your stone set, I got my own baguettes. And I'll be doing things that you won't regret. Little Kim the Queen B, so you best take heed. Shall I proceed? Yes, indeed. I'ma throw shade if I can't get paid. Blow you up to your girl like the army grenade. You can slide on my ice like the escapade. And then you get Chiaya with the marmalade. Who me? Not you. Oh, yes, who's he? I even did your man style, but I love your profile. Whisper in your ear and get you all shook up. But don't blush. Just keep this on the hush. to do my morning devotional with this beautiful view like it is so pretty y'all new york is such an inspiring city every time i'm here i just feel like i just catch on fire like in the best way possible so i'm about to do my devotional can y'all believe this okay let's just sum everything up before i just start rambling last night was so amazing and y'all know how i told y'all last year was my year of yes last night showed me that forcing myself out of my comfort zone last year to do all of the things that probably would make me scared because i know it don't seem like it y'all but i feel like i was i was i'm not gonna say i am i was very shy but last night showed me wait all of those the times you force yourself to go to these events and you force yourself to do stuff by yourself last year in the creator space it, it literally helped you because last night you know how usually when you're going to an event you're like okay i don't have anybody i did have my friend she came but she was coming later so i was by myself for a while and i wasn't scared last night i wasn't scared to walk up to people and just talk to them because i'm the type of person if i talk to you on instagram if i'm liking your pictures if i'm commenting on stuff dming you if i see you in person i feel like i know you i'm gonna speak to you so last night i wasn't afraid to just walk up to people and start talking and then next thing you know me and all my shenanigans and then we just talking all night you know so it was so amazing to meet people creators and they just were girl it was a good old fabulous time it was like everything i love in one space great women fashion luxury because we were at the fashion file showroom <sighs> beautiful okay the fashion file showroom the team at fashion file is a amazing and i'm not just saying that like it's amazing you can literally see them authenticating the bags and seeing how they do it and that's why i love shopping at fashion pile because you know what you're getting girl the showroom was amazing the team was amazing everything last night was amazing um and then after that i went to dinner with all of the girls that was also girl a good old kiki okay <laughs> but I had a great time. I had a great time. I'm happy I went. I, but I am not here for Fashion Week, y'all. I'm not here for Fashion Week. Last year, I promised myself, literally last year for Valentine's Day, I was on a rooftop. I took y'all with me. And I was like, 2023, I'm going to give myself my, my ideal Valentine's Day. Because I always have all these ideas of what I would do for Valentine's Day. But I feel like I would never do it because for some reason valentine's day when i think about it i always think about a couple but i was like you know what i'm gonna have my ideal valentine's day one of my friends armand she always inspires me to and push me and encourage me to create my ideal days like she's like create your ideal day today an ideal day is basically if i could have the perfect day what would that look like today and each day is going to change so I wrote down all these things that I wanted to do with myself, by myself, and experience alone for Valentine's Day. And yeah, I'm going to do it. 
I'm gonna do it. And I, I'm do, I decided to do it in New York because I love New York. New York is my city. Like when I'm here, I just feel, ugh, I'm in love. So why not go to the city that makes you feel like that? My favorite city. But I'm not here for fashion week. I said all of that to say. And even the people commenting, they're like, okay, I cannot wait to see the looks. And in my head, I'm like, well, girl, don't hold your breath because you may get a look, you may not get a look. That's not what we're here for. So I'm about to do my morning meditation. Y'all, I actually purchased the Bible. It's still in a box because before I left out of the house to come to New York, it literally was on my doorstep. But I purchased the Bible because I want to start reading the Bible this year. I just cannot get with the Bible app. So I purchased the Bible. And for me, this is big because I really want to... This year, I told myself I am dedicating 2023 to the relationship with myself in the relationship with God and something about reading the Bible was so intimidating to me because I'm just like oh my god it's, it's like what's going on it's a lot of words I don't know where to start and I'm like how do you read the Bible do you just open it and start reading it like a book so that's what I'm gonna do okay so I got a Bible I got the um large font <laughs> NIV and I got it from Amazon I'm gonna link it down below but I look forward to doing it so I'm switching up my morning meditation in the morning I'm gonna read the Bible thing on my list to do I want to explore the city when it's quiet the city isn't up yet it's not the hustle and bustle I want to go explore and just walk with like coffee or tea and just admire the empty streets of New York at 7 a.m. so I don't know if I'm gonna take you on um, in this video blog you guys may not see everything because I'm not gonna allow fashion week creating content or blogging to hijack this trip for me it's not really about content it's very sacred so you may see things and a lot of things you guys won't see so hopefully you guys are having a great day and yeah i'll see you guys later i look crazy girl I feel like y'all we was at Ruby's for a very long time um but it was really really good now we are uh, I'm gonna ask what they make vegan uh, we just ate wait y'all know how I feel about playlists like what so I'm at Unico looking for the heat tech pieces because I am freezing and I feel like this is stuff that I can have for a while so I want to come and get these and I wanted to get these while I was in New York so I don't think I'm gonna do the white. I'm gonna do the black and maybe a medium. But maybe I should do the white, huh? Because, y'all, I'm freezing right now. So I'm about to get this. Okay, so for the heat tech, I got the top and I'm getting the bottom. Um, and this is really good for like cold weather. Uh, I don't know. Um, it absorbs heat and all this type of stuff. So it's really good. It's $30 for the top, 30 for the bottom. And this is such a must have, I feel like, in a wardrobe, especially if you live somewhere where it's cold or you travel where it's cold a lot. So I'm gonna get these. And y'all, I don't know if y'all shop at Unico, the quality of the pieces. I usually come here when I'm in New York, but the quality and the prices, y'all, I'm very impressed. Like, I'm on the third floor. I never come up here, but I'm impressed. Hey guys, so I am back in the room. I'm just getting here and I'm about to take off my makeup and I'm gonna wind down. Wow, the Empire State Building at nighttime, y'all. Really pretty. Um, I'm here, but I am not here for Fashion Week. And I was so excited for this trip because last year I promised myself that I would do the whole ideal Valentine's Day. And I literally found out it was Fashion Week like maybe a week ago when I kept getting invited to things and I'm like, what's going on? So I promised myself, I said, you know what? I'm not here for fashion week. Fashion week, they'll have many of them. And this year I promised myself that I would just kind of like do things for myself, not like treat myself, but have create memories with myself. And I don't know, Valentine's Day was one of the things that I really wanted to give myself my idea of Valentine's Day. So I just decided to do it the whole week. 
I promised myself before I got here that I will not allow Fashion Week to hijack this trip. I got in yesterday, today's Saturday. And when I woke up this morning, I felt so much anxiety. That excitement and the just, I'm gonna just say excitement. That's the only word that comes to mind that I had for this trip. This morning, I did not feel, feel that way. I felt very anxious, I felt overwhelmed, and I felt angry. I could not identify why I was feeling angry. So Liz come to the city. She came to the city to help me shoot content. And today was just different. I love taking pictures. I love taking pictures of different looks. And today I did not enjoy it. So we get, we're shooting. And in the middle of us shooting, I just stopped. I said, Liz, I cannot shoot. I don't want to do it anymore. And she was like, what's wrong? So we started talking and I just was like, the anger literally just was like sitting right here on my chest and i was like why are you angry and it was like because you literally promised me that you would give me the ideal day you would not let fashion week anything or anybody hijack this trip this was going to be a trip that you make all of these memories you was going to write these love letters every day and i realized i wasn't doing it i just came here and i started to work i wasn't even supposed to be working at all y'all at all so I'm angry. Me and her started talking and the stuff that she was telling me y'all, it was things that I literally need, needed to hear. One thing me and my therapist is working on at the moment is, it is crazy that I can literally see in people's house. This man is running behind his dog, but his house, his apartment is huge. Okay, that has nothing to do with nothing. But one thing that me and my therapist is working on is me creating boundaries, not just for other people, for myself. And today I was angry because I, did not I crossed all boundaries I did not honor myself and literally when men Liz had the conversation it's like I snapped out of it and I was like okay I'm here two more days it's not too late to give myself the ideal trip so I promised myself I'm done with content for the rest of this trip I'm not taking worried about taking pictures I'm not I'm not doing it um I do have one more fashion week obligation but I'm not gonna force myself to go depends on how I feel I'll go and if I wake up and I don't want to go I'm not gonna go because that's not what I'm here for so tomorrow I don't know about you guys I'm gonna take you guys but I'm back on track I'm gonna get my list and look at all of the things that I want to do and I'm gonna do it it's so easy to get pulled in and sucked in without even knowing it and I'm just so happy that in that moment I had to honor that part of me that was like this is not what you promised, like yourself. And 2023, I really want to honor the commitments and the promises that I make to myself the same way I would do like a friend or anybody else. So I'm about to take off my makeup. I got pizza. That was definitely one thing on my list is being in a hotel room, looking out the view, watching a show. And I can't lie y'all, this room is super small, but it's like, I'm okay, I'm okay. I have a nice view. I'm about to watch um, Harlem uh, eat pizza. I got a lemon pound cake. And yeah, that's what I'm about to do for the rest of the night. I also have all of my love notes that I have each day um, that I'm here. I wanted to write love notes. I, I did not do it Friday because I was busy. So I'm going to write one tonight. Write one in the morning. Tomorrow I'll probably do multiple. Just kind of excuse me throughout the day whenever I feel like it write like love notes or whatever I want in it but I'm about to write one right now so y'all I finally made it to the Zara in Soho this is definitely one of the best Zara's they have everything but I came super early because I was actually looking for this bag right here hold on so this bag I found online but I wanted to see it in person it's a denim bag I'm gonna link this down below this is sick so they have denim uh, this is gonna be very good for like the um not fall but like the summer spring summer i love that and they also have it in black i don't need another black bag but this is sick like i love the shape of that look at that oh i love this i'm gonna get both they also have this little green set oh how dope would this be it comes with like a pencil skirt i know I can't, this is a hot mess but with these boots y'all this is already super dope I always complain about it, but it's really, really good. If you come in the morning, it's very clean. Everything is neat. The lines aren't long. Highly recommend.
I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, I and I die, gotta watch So it is later in the day, I haven't talked to y'all at all today, I've been out since, I literally woke up at 6am, I think you guys saw me. Oh, child, the lighting is not the best. You guys saw me this morning, and then I just been out and about. Today was the day I like used today to kind of like disconnect. I um checked a few things off my list. I had a ball, y'all. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I did some shopping. Um, now the thing is this. You know how I told y'all I didn't love this hotel. I'm not gonna give this a zero because it was very easy for me to go shopping, come back to the room, drop stuff off, and kind of like maneuver because I'm, once you pass canals, like I'm in Soho, and I'm like a block off canal, so it was very easy. But I have dinner reservations at RH at 6.30, so I came back to the hotel to kind of like freshen up and breathe. So I'm about to sit here, I'm drinking some tea, and yeah, I wanted to come bring, drop my bags off and go back out to Soho to go shopping, but I don't think I'll have time. Cause it's 3.30 and I need to be in meat packing for 6.30, so I just need to breathe. Y'all, today has been such a great day. I had the time of my life. I did a lot of the things on my list, which checked off, and tonight I am taking myself to Restoration Hardware for, for dinner. Now, every time I'm in New York, I always go to RH, but I'm always with someone and I always have to kind of like schedule it around their time. And I always wanted to go at night because I feel like it'll be super romantic. And the purpose of this trip was to romanticize the relationship with myself. So I'm going on a romantic date by myself. Candlelight dinner with a nice view and we're gonna have some champagne and all of the things. Um, I'm wearing my IJ black dress and let me tell y'all something. This is the best hundred, what, thirty dollars I've ever spent. These boots, I've been wearing these boots this whole trip. These boots are like, girls, it. it. Who is it? <sighs> okay, I forgot what I was saying. I'm going on a romantic deal with myself. You guys are coming. I'm wearing my IG dress, um, those boots, and we're gonna zhuzh it up and make it look like, look like something. Okay, so I'll see you guys. Um. Once we leave, I need to get dressed. I want to put some curls in my hair. Um, my dinner reservation is in an hour. I thought it was 6.30. It's 6.15. And I kind of want to get there early so I can ask someone to take my picture. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> 